डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब आंबेडकर ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी हेलो व्यूअर्स आय रितु गोर असिस्टंट प्रोफेसर ऑफ इंग्लिश एट डॉक्टर बाबा साहेब आंबेडकर ओपन यूनिवर्सिटी वेलकम यू ऑल इन द वीडियो लेक्चर सीरीज इन द लास्ट यूनिट वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ लिटरेचर एंड कल्चर एंड द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन दैम टुडे टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू एनालाइज अ ग्रेट नोवेल कॉल्ड गोरा रिटन बाय the nobel laureate of india ramdhanath tagore with the point of view of reflection of culture and literature but before that it is very necessary to know about the author and the ambience of the age so in this unit we are going to discuss introduction know the author purpose of creating gora summary of the novel and then check your progress and after that we will critically analyze the relationship between culture and literature and how rabindranath tagore has described in this novel rabindranath tagore was great literary figure who contributed a lot to indian literature and also had a prominent place among well known figures of renaissance he was not only an architect of modern indian literature but also the modern indian mind he was versatile individual he was a poet short story writer novelist dramatist painter and composer of songs gandhi called him the great sanitarian here i would like to tell you that even at the age of 70 he has started learning painting so in one life one can do anything and this is the great example of rabindranath tagore Let us try to know more about this great novel called Gora. This novel is considered as very complex of all the 12 novels written by Rabindranath Tagore. Undoubtedly, this epic debates multiple issues and concerns that deem contemporary even today and very much relevant to the current scenario of our country. This book is a reflection and the analysis of the diverse social life in colonial India. It is about contradictions of one's own beliefs which are as a result of changing times, society and its multiple influences on the people, their thinking, ideologies and philosophies. It reflects the overall transformation seen and sensed within an individual and the society in general. Gora took birth in the year 1910 in Tagore's fifth novel and is generally considered as his masterpiece. Its broad canvas has the master stroke of the social, cultural, religious and political life of the 19th urban century. Sorry, of the 19th urban middle class Bengal. It was a landmark in history of evolution. of the novels written in bengali language tagore ideally attacks social taboos through his play the bengali the bengali society with its traditional orthodox hindus and the liberal brahmo samaj is presented in the novel in a unique way the very purpose of creating gora was to save the society from the clutches of oppression caste system and above all a strong voice to protest against alienating women from the mainstream now we will look towards the summary of the novel gora gurmohan as gora because of his fair skin is an orthodox hindu boy and strictly follows all the custom and belief of hindu religion son of fainting father krishna dayal and the liberal mother anandmoy Gora is an ardent nationalist. His best friend is an orphan Binoy who considers Gora's mother as his own. By a sudden chance, Binoy comes in contact with a Brahmo family, Paresh Babu. His wife, brother his wife, 
मृदा सुंदरी एंड देर एडोप्टेड डॉटर सुचरिता इनिशियली गोरा डज नॉट अप्रूव ऑफ हिज एसोसिएशन हाउ एवर मच टू हिज डिसन ही ग्रेजुअली डिस्कवर्स हिज ऑन अट्रैक्शन टू सुचरिता हु कम्स एक्रॉस एज एन इंटेलिजेंट कल्चर्ड एंड स्ट्रॉन्ग वुमन नॉट विलिंग टू नर्चर हिज फीलिंग्स फॉर सुचरिता गोरा एम्बार्क्स ऑन अ रिलीजियस ट्रिप विथ हिज ग्रुप मीन वाइल बिनॉय इज परस्यूएडेड बाय परेश बाबूज फैमिली टू परफॉर्म अ प्ले फॉर द ब्रिटिश मैजिस्ट्रेट ड्यूरिंग दिस टाइम गोरा टू कम्स टू द सेम प्लेस इन ऑर्डर टू कंप्लेन टू द मजिस्ट्रेट अबाउट द डिसमल कंडीशन इन अ फ्यू ऑफ द विलेजेस ही हैज़ विजिटेड हाउ एवर द मैजिस्ट्रेट रिफ्यूजेज टू लिसन समटाइम आफ्टर दिस गोरा इज पुट इन टू जेल एज ही हेल्प्स अ फ्यू विलेज बॉय रेजिस्टिंग द ऑपरेसिव पुलिस बिनोय वॉन्ट्स टू बेल हिम आउट बट गोरा विशेष टू स्टे सो परच्यूर्ड बाय दिस अनसिम्पैथिक नेचर ऑफ मैजिस्ट्रेट बिनोय रिफ्यूजेज टू परफॉर्म द प्ले एंड इन स्टेड कैच इज द फर्स्ट स्टीमर बैक टू कलकत्ता टू हिज सरप्राइज सुचरिता सिस्टर to his surprise suchariita's sister lolita too leaves her family and joins binoy impressed by her act of defense binoy begins to have affectionate feelings for the rebellious lolita on coming back to calcutta binoy and lolita meets brother sundari's orthodox sister hari mohini who has come to live with paresh babu and his family as well during this time Paresh Babu receives severe criticism from the Brahmos for having taken in Hari Mohini and succumbing to Hindu practices. Meanwhile, rumors are rife about the closeness of Binoy and Lalita, who were seen together on a steamer. Binoy now sees that the only way to help the family and Lalita is to marry Lalita. However, Brother Sundari insists that Binoy must first become a Brahmo. Binoy grudgingly accepts this clause but later goes back on it. When Gora comes back from jail and hears about Binoy's situation, he becomes angry and tells Binoy that if he agrees to perform a marriage, they will never speak to each other again. Binoy takes a tough decision, asking Lolita to stick with her faith. while he would stick to his own here of course you will remember the bollywood movie that uh, sonu ke titu ki shaadi where who will win the friend or the girl meanwhile gora makes one last attempt to stop the marriage and goes to sucharita hari mohini all this while has looked upon sucharita with subtle disdain as she is still a brahmo and not a hindu therefore she is very pleased when gora seeks out sucharita's company and preaches to her about religion haran babu the dejected suitor of sucharita tells her that she is no longer brahmo but a hindu with gora as her guru and she refuses to speak to haran babu she goes to parish babu to confess to him about to confess to him about her plight and he slowly reassured her that she need to decide whether she is hindu or not and that she must consider things when she is kamar binoy meanwhile has settled the date of his marriage with lalita he is warned by parish babu that he will be banished from the society if he decides to go ahead with such a marriage but binoy was very much As it turns out Parish Babu is right the only people who attained such an important occasion of Binoy's are only Parish Babu himself Anand Moy Gora's mother and Sucharita thus Binoy gets married and ends his friendship with Gora so here the girl wins Gora meanwhile has a change of heart he realizes his love for Sucharita Meanwhile in this deathbed Gora's father Krishna Dayal reveals the secret of Gora being a founding the son of an Irishman This revelation is startling to Gora and he confessed to Parish Babu that 
he no longer has any identity and belongs nowhere in a flesh gora finds his nation in his mother anand moi and he feels indebted to protect india tagore's message is loud and clear that nationalism comes out of choice and not by the fact of one's birth gora also makes it clear that the very idea of nation remains incomplete without woman in a way gora becomes the exemplar of tagore's universal man so this is all about the summary of this novel and now it is time for question answer so in your textbook there is a column called check your progress there you have to write about the answer first literature is a mirror of culture and it has a depict i mentioned that the broad canvas of social cultural middle class bengal it unfolds the vast dynamic backdrop of bengal under british rule a divided society struggling to envisage an emerging nation the major occurrences prevailing in the 19th century urban bengal may well be traced in the novel proving thereby that true literature presents the most authentic reflection of its times most of the characters expose one or the other side of the culture of bengal parish babu and sucharita presents the positive side of brahmo culture while haran babu broda sundari and hari mohini present the negative side krishna dayal and gora are the representatives of fanatic hinduism while binoy represents the most tolerant hindu culture Hari Mohini's character also reveals the dark side of Hindu society where a widow is ostracized at all levels Anand Moi serves as the bridge between all the opposing strands and in this way every characteristic is representing something of the religion by representing the human face of Hinduism where caste barriers don't exist and love for all religion is the key to sustain some of the major issues have been explained for your clear understanding hello f5 ko do f5 okay गोरा so you have to write down what is the relationship between them third question is what is the point of disagreement between gora and sucharita so now you have to write down that what were the issue happened and that affect their friendship fourth one what is the main theme of gora that you have to decide on your own that we have discussed so many things about the summary and now we will look towards the more critical analysis spread of brahmo samaj because we are discussing that how culture and the literature is going together hand in hand so now we are discussing some of the points that how culture is reflecting here in gora so here the point is spread of brahmo samaj gora depicts an important period in the history of india when hindu society was struggling to prevent his own disintegration in the face of challenges from within and without the impact of western education and culture had brought about many changes in the cultural fabric of india feeling suffocated in the orthodox folds of hindu society the intellectuals in bengal people were inspired by the liberalism of the west and they had started questioning the superstitions and illogical rituals such as idol worship caste system 
practice of cruel social customs like sati ill treatment of widows denial of education to women and child marriage since the youth under the impact of western education had started to prefer conversion raja ram mohan rai founded the brahmo samaj with a view to bringing together the best practices of all religions gradually however there arose another section of brahmos who were more inclined to christianity the old faction came to be known as adi brahmo samaj another thing is hindu nationalism gora is an impassionate patriot who believes in working for the freedom of his nation from the clutches of the british at this time while the brahmos were busy in their adultations for all things english there was a section of hindu youth who followed the path of hindu nationalism gora is quite a representative of such hindu nationalism tagore however does not endorse this view as this could prove to be device the change of heart brought about in gora marks its shift from hindu nationalism to indian patriotism next point is controversy between brahmo samaj and hinduism we can only we can only come through this point through the literature the novel has been hailed as the mirror of the society and in this novel it is very well depicted indian renaissance Gora starts as an orthodox Hindu and gradually gets inclined towards Brahmo Samaj. During this period, the Bengali society was split into the Brahmos and the Hindus. Though the faith of the Brahmos was never to discriminate against the individual, but to respect all creations, the Brahmo had a deep discredit for the Hindus. Raja Ramon Rai founded the Brahmo Samaj in 1828 as a reformist movement. Brahmos renounced all superstitions and taboos and aimed at a synthesis of best in all religions. During this course of time, however, the Brahmo Samaj acquired a strong anti-Hindu bias. Raja Ramon Rai also preached teachings that had a hint of Christian influence. However in society at that time being christian was regarded as the same as having faith in the english next point is humanism tagore takes up the theme of nationalism in a big way in gora however this nationalism very different from the usual gora believes in the supremacy of his nation and all his actions are motivated by his spirit of nationalism however it is only towards the end that he realizes that human beings are far more important than nation gora's mother anandmoy doesn't believe in caste or religion and she epitomizes the philosophy of humanism towards the end gora realizes she is the nation along with gora's realization of her humanistic approach comes his self realization and he declares you are my bharatvarsha and here the importance of being woman is already mentioned next point is partition of bengal how this affect novel so in 1905 the partition of bengal created a political movement in the state gora emerges as a national reader who goes around the countryside of bengal and works for the betterment of indian peasants he remains a patriot through the no- he remains a patriot through the novel tagore creates a picture of freedom struggle and its achievement through the portrayal of eponymous hero in a true nationalistic spirit he takes a vow to serve india as her faithful servant how caste system affect and the culture was there it is depicted in the point hindu caste system gora is an ardent hindu and unlike his mother anandmoy he practices its caste system most zealously on one hand he uses the youth force from amongst all caste for his nation building ventures on the other hand 
he maintains the norms of purity and piety in his own conduct and diet he does not eat the food at his mother's place because she doesn't believe in caste system and has a maid lachimaya who is a christian the end when the truth of his birth dawns upon him that he realizes the futility of caste and religion next point is quest for identity gora is an exploration of a young man's search for identity throughout the quest for through the quest for harmony and unity of his country in the midst of a struggle between orthodoxy and reformation at this time in bengal there were two major factions making their presence felt in the urban society on one hand were the hindu revivalist blindly following all the illogical norms of religion and on the other were the reformist who embarked on a journey to cleanse hinduism of all its dogmas instead became inclined towards christianity gora undertakes a journey which will enable him to find love and trust in diversity a common symbol which would pinpoint the country's oneness Gora thus become a novel of self rela- novel of self realization of a clearer now it is now it is time to know about the introduction to literature understanding of one's goal which which can only come through a mature vision in anand mui's faith in the power of love and acceptance gora finally discovers the answer to all his doubts so this is all about that how literature and culture affect together and how through the novel we can come to all the perspective of it now it's time to check your progress so the first question is how does tagore represent the point of view of brahmo samaj here you have to write down your critical analysis of tagore second one is parish babu and his family are members of the brahmo samaj haran babu the suitor of sucharita is also a brahmo parish babu and sucharita present the positive side of brahmo samaj and such they do not have any issues in marrying outside their faith also parish babu's daughters are free Parish Babu's daughters are free to mix with men and hold conversation with outsiders which was not deemed proper in the Hindu society. Second question is make a comment on nationalism as depicted in Gora. Here you have to write down through the concept of nationalism and how it is depicted in the Gora. third question is what do you know about the great controversy between hinduism and brahmo samaj in bengal so here the point the analytical discussion about the rise of brahmo samaj that will help you to how to portray and how to write an analytical answer of this question fourth question is what is tagore's idea of humanism as expressed in gora here you have to define the humanism and it is expressed in the gora so that's all about today and in this way you have to write down the all questions through the analytical point of view that will help you to analyze that will that will help you to develop critical thinking so in today's session we have discussed about the literature and culture with the reflection of gora and how the novel has depicted their culture so in the next video we will going to meet so thank you क्या यहाँ पर